Hey everyone, that guy here, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Black Nuzlocke series. So last episode we just... We just did some battling, we did some leveling up. And now we're gonna go do more battling and leveling up. But we're gonna battle the gym trainers and stuff, and we might probably battle the gym le leader today as well, if things go as planned. So... Let's start things off with a quick team recap, because a few things have changed um, since last episode. So, as always, we've got Volchula leading the front of our party, that's nothing new. Volchula's been there for quite a while now, and will continue to be the lead of the party until I deem it necessary to change. Then we have Bambi and Donald. I always like to group those two together because they both joined the party at the same time. And they've both just been powerhouses since. I think they're the only two I've really kept and leveled up since making my new team. Of course, Goth Girl's been there as well. Like, I, don't, I think Goth Girl was on the team since I made the new team. But I haven't leveled or used Goth Girl, whereas Bambi and Donald have both had a lot of use. Anyway, Goth Girl, 69 HP. <laughs> nice. Yes, I'm still going to do that every single episode, and you cannot stop me. And then we have Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan we added to the team last episode. We caught them at Dragon... was it Dragon Spire Tower or something? So, I don't know if we're gonna use Jackie Chan at all, or if they're just gonna get replaced somewhere down the line. But we did catch Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is on our team. And they're a good fighting type, provided we can get them to level 50 and evolve them. And then we have Lamp. Lamp is pretty much what we're trying to level up and have been for the past two episodes. All we need is one more level on Lamp, and then I'm willing to use two rare candies to get them to level 41. So that I can evolve them. And then I can evolve them again with a stone if I really want to, and I probably will. Anyway, let's get on with the episode, because we've got things to go do. Now, honestly, I don't know how strong the gym leader is or anything like that. I'll, I'll admit that much, but let me let me through your little... Wait, no, I don't need to even go that way. It's over there. Yeah. No, it's not. It is up there. Where is the gym? I've honestly... Forget. It's further up, right? It's... Yeah, okay. I don't have to get past those weird people running around in circles. Goddamn idiots. Always in my way. I hate it. Anyway. The, the gym leader in this... Place is nothing to sneeze at, if I'm being honest. Do these have fighting Pokemon? I sure hope not. I sure hope you have ice Pokemon. Why is there fighting trainers in a ice gym? Actually, that makes sense if they're challenging the gym leader. If they're not challenging him, then why are you a fighting person? No, you have ice Pokemon, despite being a martial artist. Normally, all the martial artists have fighting Pokemon, so whatever. Anyway, we got a job to do, so let's battle through these trainers. Vulture is just going to keep powering on up, and I'm completely fine with that. Ah, yeah. This is going to be an easy sweep if we're using Vulture. Look at that. Another level up for Vulture. Let's go. Things are going great so far. Can't wait to get this gym out of the way. And then we only have one more badge to get before we tackle Victory Road and the Elite Four. We are getting kind of close to the end, but at the same time, not really, because we have a lot of Team Plasma stuff to deal with before the end. However, we are, we are getting close. We are indeed getting closer to our goal. And, I mean, we could get wiped out before then. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully not. I do hope we can make it to at least the Elite Four. If I get taken out by the Elite Four, I won't be too bothered. But if we do make it that far, I'll also be annoyed at myself for losing at that point. How much is this going to do? About 50 damage. A bit under 50. So not too bad. 
Still, gotta be careful. One wrong move and I could lose Vulture, and I don't want that. Anyway, as I've said in the past, I'll be happy with this Nuzlocke if I can get at least seven of the badges, and we haven't had it. Actually, I'm not going to say what I was about to say. And the reason I'm not going to say what I was about to say is because I would 100% jinx it if I said that. I might say it at the end of the episode if I remember. If not, don't worry about it. It's, it's not important. Um... How can I say this without directly saying it? How can I hint at it? Um, something, something, deaths, something, something, not changed. Fifth gem. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's about as much as I can hint at that. Y you know what I'm trying to say, though. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Because it's true. It is true. I mean, that was a devastating part of the game for us, which is why I had to grind the next episode to get Bambi leveled up for the gym leader. But since then, it's been fairly smooth sailing, and I want to keep it like that. Another Cryogonal. Is X Scissor okay against it? I really don't know. This is, I just want a fire type that I can use. God damn, we killed it in one hit. <laughs> I guess they're not very physically defensive. Either that or I... I yeah, I don't know. Alright, we... Honestly, I like the ice gym. I really like the layout of it until you get to the whole puzzle part where you actually have to slide around on the ice. That's annoying. But it's fine, because we'll figure it out. We'll get things done. Why do they all have Cup Chews? Cup Chew isn't even that good of a Pokemon, peasants. You'll need to learn. Is Vulture going to get to level 45 in, while we're doing this battle training, I guess? I want to call it training. While we're doing this training... Maybe. Come on, Vulture. I forgot that he used Endure. Alright, we got this. We we got this. Also, is that level 37? Damn, these these trainers are getting a lot stronger suddenly. We went from battling what, level 32 to level 35 Pokemon to level 37s just that quick. Damn. I'm gonna have to start being more careful go over here, and this way, and down, and I fudged up. Uh, just go like this, right? I bet there's a way to get through this section without having to battle, like, any of the trainers, but, you know. Why, why would I not battle them? I wanna battle them, I want all the EXP I can get. Was this gym originally intended to be a fighting gym or something, and then they changed it to ice at the end or whatever? I just don't get why all the trainers in here are like martial artist, fighting type looking trainers, yet they're all ice type trainers. It's weird. It's, it's just weird to me. Which is why I'm wondering if this was initially intended to be like a fighting type gym and then they changed it. Probably not. It probably just is an intentional design. It's just a weird design choice to have them look like fighting type trainers. In my opinion. Uh, let's see how much an X scissor does to a vanillish. Ooh. Who was my encounter in the cold storage? I've already forgotten. Was that when I got the cappuccino? I really wish I could have caught a vanilla. -ish. That would have been fun. Oh well. I thought we were going to start having a bit more trouble with these trainers, but they're really not that difficult. Lamp leveled up, let's go. 
the question is, do I just rare candy lamp? Or do I actually try to level lamp up? The answer? I don't really know. Was this the intended path I was meant to take? Oh, and then you go up. And then you go like this. And then it... Okay. I wasn't aware. Is there more trainers before the... There definitely is. Alright, we have... We have a question. Do we wanna... Do we wanna keep leveling you up the normal way, or just... I'm just gonna give you rare candies. I'm... I'm done! Not trying to use you. I wanna use you, goddammit. Where are my rare candies at? Besides, if I don't use my rare candies, I'm probably never gonna use them. I have exactly two. One, two, and there we go. Lamp is evolving, and now you will actually look like a lamp. However, don't worry about it, guys, because lamp's going to evolve again very, very soon. Very, very soon. Lampant. That's your name, is it? You learn any moves, Lampant? In fact, does does it learn any moves? Probably not. We're just... We're gonna do... You use your last red candy. I know I did, game. Alright, where is it? Where is it? Do I have one, in fact? I don't even know if I have one. I don't have one, do I? God damn it, I can't evolve it then. I could have swore I picked one up, did I not? Definitely doesn't seem like it. Huh. Well, that's annoying. I was going to evolve it again, but you need a Dusk Stone to do so. Well, that's annoying. I could have swore I picked one up. There's got to be one somewhere. Well, let's 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 use lamp. Let's use lamp anyway. Um No, no, I didn't want to give. No, no give. Take. And then we we give you the lucky egg. And then who do we give the EXP share? I guess Goth Girl can have it. I do need to level up my other team members, so... We'll stop the whole 69 Goth Girl meme now, and we'll... We'll level up. Come at me, trainer. I'm ready for you now. Vanillish. I could have swore I picked up a dusk stone somewhere. Really? I didn't? Well, alright. Ice beam. It's not gonna do much, is it? No. I mean, it still did a fair bit, so it's not very effective, but... We have super effective moves on our side, so we're good. Alright. Uh, I didn't have any Pokemon that I used a Dusk Stone on, right? I don't think I have. I haven't evolved Pokemon in a long time, so... Huh. 
Well, before we battle the gym leader, we might go in search of a dusk stone for lamp, honestly. Uh, yeah, don't bother with flatter, I don't care about that move. I don't care about the move. Alright. We got this. No, 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 no. Go back down. We could probably just battle the gym leader, to be fair. But I really want to evolve my Lampen. I'm just going to keep flame bursting because it's the best thing to do. Ooh, that was a big hit. That was a big hit. Cup chew. A cup chew. You know what, I might heal first. Just gonna heal. To be safe. Alright. Let's get it. It might be worth willow wisping stuff yeah, at some point with lamp, because then we can do boosted damage with hex. But we'll do that later on. Anyway, spin this thing around and get going. That moment when I have to do this entire puzzle again to come back to the gym leader. <laughs> uh, 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 um, I'm an idiot. I should have just challenged them, honestly. I should I should have just straight up challenged them, but I didn't because I want a dusk stone. I know I can get one somewhere. I swear I can get one somewhere. Like, come on. Then again, I really don't know where they're at, do I? It might just be a futile effort trying to look for one. Should I just go back and battle the gym leader? I probably should. I probably should. I really, I couldn't get away. This ain't gonna be a very fun fight if I can't run away, Lamp. Hell no, nah, I'm not having Lamp get killed by a Woo Bat right now. Hell no, nah. not happening. Nope. Not happening. Just, just kill it, please.
All right. I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna do the gym. I'm, I'm not messing around. I know what I just said, and... Uh, I, I don't like it, because I really thought I had a Dusk Stone, and I was gonna evolve my Lampant into a... Chandelure, or whatever the thing's called. But I can't. And now I'm just sad. I know I did this puzzle wrong, but who cares? Who cares? Alright, let's go. It's fine, we're gonna beat the gym leader easily. No problem. It's more just a case I'd feel safer if I... I'd feel safer if I fully evolved my lamp, but I don't have that luxury. So we just gotta go for it. Hello. Is this a thumbnail shot? Probably. I probably should have healed and stuff before this battle, but whatever, Bryson, bring it to me. I ain't messing around with you, dude. I've got this. Ain't no way you're beating my lamp. Ain't no way. Just flame burst. Astonish. Oh. It's fine. Only did 20 damage. We're good. Alright. That's one down. It's a level 37, so his ace will be like level 39, level 40. Around there. Bear tick. This is probably his ace. Uh, seems like it, because it's higher level. We're gonna Willow Wisp, because this thing does a lot of- Oh my god, he has Brine. I'm fucked. Okay, I didn't die. That's all that matters. And you avoided. Oh, of course you did. All that matters is we don't faint, but at the same time, I don't think I can get an attack off now. This probably does about half my health per brine. I was not expecting it to have water moves. It got a crit. At least I know I live a crit from full health. Right? That was lucky. It's a good job I did heal. I mean, I would have healed regardless, but how much does this do without a crit? Um. Alright, quick math. 42... No, 48 damage? I don't like this. I'm switching out. I don't like it. I don't like it. You know what? We could just use Jump Kick with Bambi, couldn't we? If I genuinely think about it, we could just Jump Kick with Bambi. You know, just, just do Jump Kick. As long as we don't miss, then we're fine. We got a crit as well. The crit might have mattered, honestly. I don't think it did, but it might have. Alright. You know, I make some very questionable plays. We, we could have swept this entire gym with just Bambi and Jump- Oh shit, yeah, Ice types, they're super effective on Bambi, that's why I wasn't gonna use Bambi. In fact, the only reason I brought Bambi out is because I knew it was gonna use Brine. I'm not very smart. <laughs> I'm not very smart. I got very lucky that I didn't die there. 
Yeah, the whole reason I was training lamp, my lamp is because Bambi is weak to ice. And then I bring out Bambi and I'm like, I could have swept this gym with Bambi. And I'm like, never mind, no I couldn't. It threw me off because it had brine, so it was super effective against the Pokemon I specifically trained to combat it. Then again, this gym leader's smart, giving an ice Pokemon a water type move, knowing that we'll bring fire types to the fight. A move that always gets a crit, huh? But I bet it's really low power. Right? What, what was it called? Frost Breath? Yeah, it's only a 40 power move. But it does always crit. So, it'll always do double however much damage it would- is, wait, is a crit double? No, it ain't. A crit is like, one point something multiplier. Anyway, seven badges. Hell yeah, let's go. And now my friends are here. So-called friends. Alright. There we go. Oh, here we go, the Shadow Triad. Why me? Why did they have a message for me? They clearly said that guy when they were saying that. They were like, we have a message for that guy. Bianca, what do you want? Alright, so we, we gotta go to Dragon Spire Tower now. I guess we can't evolve Lamp fully yet. Unless I want to be an idiot and run around looking for an item that I don't know where it is. Unless I could buy one somewhere nearby, maybe, I don't know. Could I buy one? I could probably buy one. Do any... Do any Poke Marts sell... you sell TMs. Blizzard, Thunder, and Fire Blast. They are decent TMs, I'll give you that. Alright. If if I... I might look up where to get a Dusk Stone in my own time. However, I won't do it in my own time, I'll do it on video, of course. Don't tell me you want to barrel me. No, we're just talking to Cedric. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Dragon Spiral... Dragon... Dragon Spiral Tower, is that what it's called? I think I've been calling it Dragon Spire Tower. Whatever. An old gato. Alright, cool. Who's... who's at the lead right now? Honestly, we might switch Lamp out of the lead back to Galvantula again, you know? Just because I was only training Lamp for that one gym right now, and then, you know, I'll use them later on for a couple other things, but right now I want to get my Galvantula leveled up as much as possible. Oh, of course, you're just chilling. Oh, you don't even battle me? Okay. I thought this dude battled me, but apparently not. You can get encounters in here from what I'm aware. The whole ground is shaking. Oh look, we got an encounter literally one step after I said you can get encounters. Would it have been smart to wait for a Golet or one of the Pokemon you can get in here, rather than getting the me and Fu in the grass outside? Probably. Because I think you can get Drugadon? Drudged? Drudged? Drudigen? I... <laughs> Fuck me, I don't know how to say its name. I think you can get the Dragon Pokemon in here. It, we'll see one and then I'll be like, yeah, that, that one. I mean, actually, we might not see one, because I'm gonna use a... I'm gonna use a Repel. God damn it, I w I could've swore I had a Duskstone. I'm so annoyed. 
What's up, Charon? It's like, yo, hurry up, get your ass up here. Stupid. Oh, there's an item. Items. So, do I go up over the top here? There was also a thing I could push with strength. Oh, I have to... No, I don't have to push this with strength. You, you can either push this or you can go up over the top. I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I say you can go up over the top. I meant like you could go over this from all the way over there. But if you have strength, you don't have to go all the way over the long direction. Don't we battle Team Plasma grunts in here? I could have swore we did. Okay, this just takes you back to the start. Oops. Uh, this way. There we go. I just wanted the item. Shiny stone? That's not the stone I want. Here's me hoping I can get a dusk stone while I'm in here. <laughs> It'd be nice. Alright. Well, there's definitely battles I have to do. I don't want to go on ahead. I want to battle them too. Well, I gotta battle these ones anyway, don't I? Yeah, so you didn't really hold many off, did you? I don't know how Charon's fighting two on his own, but I can't fight two on my own. I'm stronger than Charon, damn it! <laughs> oh, not Watchogs. These grunts bring me nightmares every time they send out Watchogs, because I know the type of shenanigans they be getting up to. Come on, you can't do this to me, man. It's uh, it's fine, we have Vulture. Also, this Watchog is so weak compared to the gym leader's level. We, we just went down in level. I was expecting them to have, like, level 38 Pokemon or so. Apparently not. Oh, and of course, we won't be finishing off the tower in this episode. But we are starting the tower in this episode because we had time to. The question is, are female Team, Bla team Plasma Grunts hot? Um, I mean, they show off quite a bit of their thigh, and I like thighs, so I'd say they're pretty hot. I've got to do that Poke Girl tier list. I've been saying it for weeks now that I've got to do a Poke Girl. I will do a Poke Girl tier list. It'll come out in maybe a couple weeks. Maybe. Uh, sure, I'll learn Future Sight. Though I'll probably never use it, but it's better than Double Slide. Also, I don't know how far I'm going up the tower before I stop. Probably onto the next floor, and then I might, I might stop when we reach the next floor. Because we are running out of time for the episode, so... I don't want to go too far over the time I have planned out for each episode. Because it's nice to stick to a solid schedule. And then, you know, every episode is about the same length, so people can't complain saying like, this video's only 20 minutes, but this one's 50, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> if they're all 35 to 40 minutes, then you know you're getting 35 to 40 minutes of content the next episode, and so on and so forth. Also, if you've not acknowledged the question of the day since we're ending the episode very soon, now would be a good time to acknowledge it. Um, yes, I'm deadly serious when I ask this question. What's your favourite colour? I... I couldn't think of a good question for today. My mind was blank, so what's your favourite colour? My favourite colour? I have three. Now, first though, I'll tell you my favourite colour as a kid was yellow. However, since then, 
yellow has become not my favorite color. It's more of a neutral color to me now. I don't dislike yellow, but I don't like or love the color yellow. But yellow was once my favorite color as a kid. Now though, however, there's three colors that I would find it difficult to choose between. There's red, more specifically crimson reds. I really like those kinds of red colors. Blue, specifically baby blue, so you know, the very light blue colors. I like light blues, they're very nice, and then purple. I love the color purple. Purple, probably one of my favorite non-natural hairstyle colors too. Now, of course, I watch a lot of anime, so my favorite colors are slightly dictated by the fact that anime protagonists have wacky hair colors and shit. But, yeah, just purples, reds, and blues I really like, but it has to be crimson reds, baby blues, and then just regular purple. I mean, I like all shades of purple from light to dark, but I prefer the more in-the-middle ground purple colors. I don't like it too dark and I don't like it too light, I just like the nice purple color. Kinda like the Lipard fur color, that, that kind of purple, but maybe a little bit darker than that. My lord, this floor's bigger than I thought it was. But yeah, now, now you know my favorite colors. I know I said favorite color. If I had to pick one of the three, I'd say Crimson Red. Because personally, I could see myself having that type of color, clothing, or maybe even hair if I was feeling like it. I have dyed my hair red once in the past. It was one of those very, like, it wasn't like a, it wasn't a long lasting or like permanent dye or anything like that. It was one of those, you wash it out like the very same day dyes, you know, you just spray it in. And then later on you take a shower and it all washes out. It was one of those dyes. But I have dyed my hair red on a good couple occasions. I think it looks good when it's red. I mean, I I was born ginger and my hair, as I've got older, has naturally darkened and become a more brown colour. So maybe it's just because I was ginger as a kid, which is why I think the colour red suits me pretty well. But yeah, oh yeah, of course, electric doesn't affect this, but what am I doing? This is what happens when I get sidetracked and talk about my favorite goddamn color. But yeah, Crimson Red would be the one I'd pick for myself. However, I really like seeing other people wearing purple. I don't know why, but like purple jumpers and just purple clothes and stuff. I like the colour purple on clothes. I, I think purple looks really nice, really neat. Same with hair, but that's because of an anime kind of thing. I like purple anime hair girls. Not not boys as such, but girls, yeah. <laughs> and then baby blue has just always been like a colour I've liked. It's probably my least favourite of the three I said, but it's definitely up there with my favourite colours. Like, Baby Blue is definitely in my top three, but probably the lowest of the three. You get me? I'm sure you do. So yeah, tell me your favourite colours, I'm curious, I wanna know. It's a very bland and boring question, but, you know, depending on how you talk about it, if you talk about the reasons why you like it, it can become a very interesting question, because conversations can grow from it, and holy hell, we're getting another evolution. I wasn't expecting Goth Girl to evolve, goddamn. Right before the end of the episode, too. Alright, we have a Gotharita. I was gonna say Gothatel, but that's the final evolution, isn't it? Isn't it? Or is Gothatel the one we already had? Which one's Gothatel? No, we had... We had... We had Gothata, and then it just evolved into Gotharita. Right? Anyway... I didn't want to come back out of the room, I just wanted to face... I just wanted to face that direction. Apparently I can't do that. Alright. 
I'm going to end this episode here, so if you enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Black Nuzlocke, then make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon and other gaming related content because I play video games every single day. And don't forget to answer the question of the day. I think I gave a very good answer, so I want to see your answers and reasons why down below. And with that, I'll see you all next time, so goodbye guys.